Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you some services on Windows 11 and 10 you can disable to have and reduce um, CPU and RAM usage on your PC. So, as you will see in this video, I've already disabled and stopped some of them, but I will just be showing you the ones I have disabled, so you can do that too. So, let's go to start. And then we we'll search services. Let's right click on it and select run as administrator. Type in your credentials, pin or password. Now let's go to the first one, which is BitLocker. So it stopped and set manual. You can totally disable this. Select disable, apply, and click OK. The next one is connected user experiences. So let's scroll to where it would be. Connected user experiences. It's set to automatic, but we can disable this entirely. Click apply. Select OK. So connected user experiences, basically, it's for sending data to Microsoft to improve your Windows experience. But I don't need that, so we can entirely close it. And BitLocker is just to prevent unauthorized access. So it's good, uh, especially if you're that deep into security and everything. But, and it's especially use, useful for organizations that would like to secure like, company data on um, PCs. So the next one is Diagnostic Execution Service. So that's this one. Let's go ahead and pick it. Select Disable, Apply, and click OK. So we can also uh, disable the other ones, there are a bunch of them. So as you can see, it's running. You can select to Manual. Some of them you can leave at Manual and just stop them and click OK. So that means it would it wouldn't run automatically. And the next one is geolocation service. For this one, you can disable it or set it to manual. Some applications that require um, your location information would need um, permission before they can access that. You can set it to manual or you can disable it entirely. For me, I'm just going to Leave it at manual, uh, stop it, and click OK. Because note, some of these services, some applications require them. So some of them you can leave at manual, some of them you can disable entirely. And let's go to net logon. So that's this one. So this is basically, if you if this is not your personal PC, you can leave this on manual or automatic. But if this is your personal PC and it's not, you know, hooked up to any organization's administrator, then we don't need this. We can disable it entirely. And can click OK. Then let's look for the next one, which is parental controls. It stopped right now, but we can totally disable it. So if you don't plan on ever using parental controls on your personal PC, then you can just stop it and disable it and click apply. Click OK. The next one is phone service. So if you use the phone link app or yeah, phone link app or any other phone app, 
So basically, if you get a call on your phone, you can manage on your computer if your phone and laptop are connected. Um, I personally use it, so you can leave it as manual, but if you don't use it at all, if you like to keep things separate, you can just disable it, hit apply, and click OK. But for me, I'll leave it as manual, hit apply, and click OK. And let's get to the next one. And that is print spooler. So this basically handles printing, interactions with your printer, connection with your printer. And we can leave this as manual. If you use your printer with your computer, with your laptop, you can leave this as manual. But if you if you never are going to use it, then you can just disable it, click apply and hit OK. But for me, I'll leave it as manual as well. The next one is remote desktop. So as you can see this remote desktop configuration. So this basically is for remote desktop related tasks. So if you have ever seen the remote desktop um, service or application on your computer, you know that it's for, you know, having, you know, as the name implies, a remote desktop. And if you've never used it or you don't plan on ever using it, you can just disable it as I would now. Select disable, apply, hit OK. And then you can do the same for this, for the other remote desktop services apply hit ok and you can do the, the same for the remaining remote desktop disabled hit apply click ok then let's go to the next one which is the sensor service so that's this one. So basically, if you have a accelerometer, if you're not using any of that, if you're not using any of those, you know, sensors and the likes, then you can disable that on your computer. And can hit OK. Let's go to the next one, which is smart card. So, so if your computer has the ability to read smart cards, um, then you can leave it as manual automatic. But because I don't plan on doing anything with smart cards on this computer, you can, I can disable it, hit apply, click OK. We can also do this for smart card enumeration service. Disable, hit apply, click OK. Then the next one would we'll go to is sysmain. Should be around here, yes. So basically what this does is it predicts the applications that you are going to use so applications you use frequently it would use that to predict what you're going to use and preload it into memory into your ram so that it's you know starts up faster runs faster but we don't really need that because i don't think it's helped me a lot but you know who knows you can disable it hit apply and click ok then can go to Windows Biometrics. I should be around here. Windows Biometrics service. So basically, if you have a fingerprint scanner or any other biometrics uh, sensor collection impute device, we can leave it. But then, because if you don't have any like this, the PC I'm on correctly doesn't have anything like that, you can leave it as disabled. As you see, and click OK. 
and let's go to the next one which is windows error reporting service so basically it allows errors to be reported so when something an app crashes or anything like that you can report the error save the there's no diagnostic information and send it over to um services for repairs or microsoft you can just leave it as disabled if it's already disabled on your computer and if it's not you can disable it hit apply and click ok next one is work folders or before we get to that let's actually go to wallet service so you can also disable this wallet service i can leave it as manual well i'm going to disable it on mine um let's see what's next the last one but not the least uh the xbox services you can disable all of them if you have no plan on using any xbox service or any gaming thing on your computer oh i'm going to leave mine enabled because i frequently use it on this device but if you don't plan on using any of them then you can just go here disable apply hit ok disable apply hit ok you can also stop it if it's already running ok disable apply hit ok and this one disable apply hit ok i hope this video was helpful thank you